Oh, oh, oh. Thomas here. Before we start, I would just like to tell everyone that this video is not made for kids, it is for the fans and adults. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the feckin' video. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there. Duncan would not stop grumbling. He grumbled that he wasn't polished enough. He grumbled that he was overworked. Most of all, he grumbled about the passengers. I'm ashamed of you, Duncan, said Scarloe. Thank goodness Reneus is coming home soon. Perhaps he'll teach you some sense before it's too late. What has Reneus to do with me? Reneus saved our railway, replied Scarloe. Please tell us about it, said Peter Sam. Well, began Scarloe, it was before you came here. Things were bad. Reneus and I had to keep the trains running or our railway would have to close. How awful, murmured Peter Sam. I tried hard, continued Scarloe, but my old wheels ached. Reneus understood. It's my turn now, he'd tell me. He was often short of steam, but he always struggled to a station and then rested there. I mustn't stop between stations, he'd say. The passengers wouldn't like it. <laughs> Huff Duncan. He had stopped on a viaduct and hadn't cared at all. Passengers, continued Scarloe, get cross if you stop at the wrong places. Renea stopped in a wrong place once, and this is what happened. One wet and windy afternoon when the rails were damp, Reneus was traveling home with a full train. There were even passengers in the caboose. It wasn't a comfortable ride at all. Reneus' wheels kept slipping, and it was a steep climb. At last, his wheels gripped the rails again. The worst is over, he thought. Now we're away. But they weren't. Ah, ah, I've got a cramp, he groaned. And Reneus stopped on the loneliest part of the line. His driver examined him carefully. Your valve gear has jammed. We need to reach the next station. Do you think you can still get us there? I'll try, replied Reneus. Reneus did his best. If I fail, he thought to himself, the passengers will be cross and the railway will close. Everything blurred. He was really too tired to make another turn of his wheels, but he did. And another, and another, and another. Finally, tired but triumphant, Reneus reached the station. I'm here at last, he wheezed. Thank you for getting us home, said the passengers. We'll tell all our friends what a fine railway this is. His driver was delighted. You're a gallant little engine, he said to Reneus. When you're rested, we'll mend you, so you'll be ready for tomorrow. And, smiled Scarloe, Reneus always was ready for tomorrow. Thanks for telling us about him, whispered Duncan. I was wrong. Passengers are important after all. The next day, Reneus came home. All the engines were there to greet him. Stepney pushed his truck to the siding where he was lifted onto his rails. This was the signal for a chorus of whistles from engines large and small. 
Everyone was happy, and Reneus was the happiest of all. You know, he whispered to Scarloe, this helps a little engine to feel that at last he has really come home. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you.